Welcome back to another Resident Evil video. And in today's video, this will be part 5 of our Let's Play. It's out every single Friday for Let's Play videos. Okay, we also do weekly live streams. Do poll votes for what games you guys want me to stream and whatnot. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video guys, shall we? So as you guys know, from the last video we left off in this area right here. As we were... Oh, looks like he's got no information about us as well. Okay. Uh, let me view the file real quick. Guys, hold up. It says, our experiments are still ongoing, but I can already see that this test subject has great potential. To summarize our findings so far, even in a state of suspense, this animation, it holds influence other, over all other parasites. It seems to possess the same organ as, organ as the dominant species and likely has the same level of control. Three. We still have no method to awaken it. Furthermore, after a deadly ancient... We... Uh, de sorry, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Furthermore, after a deadly accident, we have decided to take extra precautions and seal the amber in a protective case. That is also why I have a plan to move the amber to a research lab to a new comms facility. I guess this is where I say adios to Don... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm bad with Spanish, guys. Don't mind me. It was Lewis... Lewis, who discovered these things, but Sadler does not trust them. I just hope he keeps his mouth shut. Unable Gracia Escurdido, head researcher. Huh, well, that seems very bad. Still, oh, and let's take go. That is our target right there, guys, as well. He, okay, what, what in what someone's right mind walks around with the freaking key to a door? Like, seriously, man, I get if it was a small key in your pocket, but. That monster is seriously walking around a, a heavy duty stone, which is the key. Bro is seriously walking around with the stone key in his hand. Uh, and why are we in some kind of fucking maze out of like Maze Runner, dude? What the hell's up with that shit, bro? I'm dead ass in a Maze Runner maze, guys. I mean, it's pretty cool, but nonetheless, I like the graphics so far and shit. The graphics are pretty nice. And this maze is pretty dope. You know, it's the same maze that Leon S. Kennedy was in. in his playthrough, but still, dude, I'm glad that it, they're using some parts on the map, but they're also doing their own thing, kind of Ada's storyline, not fully using re Scream, dude, Jesus! And it truly is going mentally insane, huh, guys? Like, she is, like, losing it right now. I gotta take that red guy out. He has the key I need, and he also is, like, doing shit with Ada's, like, mental state and everything, but... Hey, don't run from me, bitch! Where do you think you're going, bro? You think you're gonna run from me with the key, bro? I need to kill you, dumbass, bitch. You have the key, bro. You have the gun and keep the damn door. I need that key, bitch. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to die. And you're in the way, so you can get your head blown off and get the fuck out of my way. Thank you. So, all right. So now I get the, the door, right? I, it's one of these staircases. I don't know which staircase I was just at now, guys, because um, I was kind of not paying attention and shit. But I think I have to go to one of these staircases real quick. Up the second floor, unlock the door, and progress to our next section of the mission, which will be after this. We will be heading to chapter five. So that's always fun, fun, good, cool beans, I guess. So where the hell am I currently at right now? Alright, so so I need to go up to that ramp side right there. I can already see where I gotta go. I gotta just jump down and grapple over that side. If I'm, if I'm quick and fast enough about it, I can avoid all these enemies if I fast enough about it. And the door is right there, so there we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy maze solve just like that with a snap of my fingers, guys. That's pretty sick. Cool. So I'm gonna keep on running up here now. The door is just right up there. Hey, bro. Old man jumped down like it was nothing. What a heavy piece of stone. Like, you gotta admit, that's pretty fucking dope. I'm pretty, uh... Pretty, uh, strong man, huh? I, I guess the old saying goes, y'all, you can't judge a book by its cover. Especially when you can't see its body or face and whatnot, I guess. But, eh, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so remember quick before, I was lead over here to our next... I think there's a boss fight here, but I'm not sure, actually. That's sounds that's right. I know what that damn thing is, man. That's the uh, troll monster that in the main story of the campaign of Resident Evil 4, uh, Lena S. Candy fights that uh, troll monster damn thing and shit, dude. I remember when I, my playthrough, I, I one shot the damn thing with the rocket launcher, and then I got a call from me like a very seconds later. So we, we hear the killing scream, and then she's talking to our boy Wesker. And then after that, she's going to call Lena S. Kennedy, and then we're going to progress to Chapter 5, guys. So yeah. Everything will work out just fine. Are you sure about that? You can keep your dog. Hey, Leon ain't no dog, bro. Bro is a, a wolf, man. He's not no dog. He is a wolf. Bro is a lone, lone wolf. He ain't no mutt. If Leon starts trying to bite me, then we have some, like, serious problems. 
At first, I was simping and wanted, these, and wanted this cake and those coconuts and those old bonkers. Then we got some serious issues, that's for damn sure. And now she's going to call her boyfriend, Leon, right? Right? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yep, you know what? Yet? She's going to call her plaything, Leon. Immediately calls him. Yeah. It seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Ah, uh, I see. I need to jump down here, right? Oh, yes. Yep. Go this way. There's loot here as well. So, I'll just, uh, let me just, uh, yoink that real quick. Get more of my booty loot. More yellow diamond, sapphire gems. More of that Gucci shit, bro. Kick, kick, and kick. And there we go. Cool. Drop kick that shit. Yeah, I've got a little puzzle I gotta solve right here. And I absolutely hate puzzles because. They confuse the living shit on my brains and they piss me off and I want to break my shit. If this stuff's glitched, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry if this shit's glitched. Run the books, that's why. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Copy that. So, didn't fuck up on nothing. It's just that I, it's just that I missed one of the clues I needed to scan to figure out what I was supposed to do. Alright, so one of the footsteps broke. He takes it a left towards this way. His footsteps kind of converge over here to, I believe he goes to his skull. All right, so according to the pattern, so you know, man. So according to the pattern, it's gonna be the bug, skull, and then I think what else does he have that I'm missing? Wait, hold on, hold on. Law, lizard. So it's gonna be uh, bug. Hang on, so took a look at it. Bug, skull, lizard. Right? Yep. There we go. Cool. And now it has got our blue butterfly, which is the final and third ingredient to the medicine cure that we need. To propose to postpone the side effects of the parasite, which still I do not know how she's going to affect it still to this day. All I know is I remember her getting knocked out by the monsters, but it still does not explain how she's going to affect it because the monsters did not have no any kind of needle with the parasite inside them whatsoever, and dude they did not have any kind of means to spread the virus to her. But somehow she magically gets infected. At least with Leon, he gets knocked down. They shut stab a needle into him. With her. There was no indication that she got infected until he all of a sudden mentioned it. And she magically had symptoms of infection. So, I don't know. It still doesn't make sense to me into this, into this far in the playthrough of the game. It still doesn't explain how she got infected either. Just shows Wesker's saver. Wait a minute. Let's think about it. What if Wesker's the one infected Aeon potentially, man? What if when he saved her from those guys, he had to need a spare needle and he infected her on purpose, dude. Shit, man. To kind of give her like an anchor so she wouldn't complete her mission because he wanted to get rid of her. I think if future Resident Evil games, I think he mentions how he wants to get rid of Ada, or he wants her dead, or something like that. But I'm not 100 percent sure if it's true or not. I don't know. But only for a time. But I was telling everybody before as well, guys, that my future playthroughs for Resident Evil games, Ready? I think I'm going to do uh, play the next Resident Evil game that's in the channel. Will probably be Village. After that will be the DLC, and once that's done, the next one I'll be doing will be Re Resident Evil Revelations, Just and then. There was also another Resident Evil game. I'm trying to think of it. Oh, yes. I'll be playing Resident Evil 6 as well. And Resident Evil Revelations. Those will be the future Resident Evil games you guys will see on the channel after Village. Because those two are the only ones I have not played on the channel yet whatsoever. And once I play those, I would have played all the Resident Evil games that are out currently right now. And hopefully that will be enough time to hold me off until Resident Evil 9 comes out. Because I still want to play Resident Evil 9. I have not played it yet. It hasn't come out yet. Trailers and leaks and images and everything that's been leaked so far... It makes the game look freaking good, guys. Like, it looks really, really good. Like, I'm so hyped for it. Like, the first mission's been leaked where it says that Lena S. Kenny and Chris Redfield are up in the, the Canadian mountains or Alaska mountains hunting Wendigos. Basically, lost in a broken down cabin, somewhere in a village, but much different. Atmosphere and everything. I also heard they'll be running on Unreal Engine 5 as well, which would make it really freaking worth playing, like, big time. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next Friday for another Let's Play episode.